All right, welcome guys. I'm gonna make a quick video on how you can create a table and a graph so you can put into your um, you can put that into your Google Slides presentation, your project for this week. So I have began a little example of a project here. Again, this is just an example. You can create this however you want. I went ahead and created a title page here where it says multiplicative versus additive. Put my name on there just so you know that this is from me. Um, if I go on to the next slide, what I have going on here is the multiplicative word problem. And I've created this scenario here um, where it says that the cost of a dozen Shipley's donut holes is $1.50 per bag. That's $1.50 per bag. What is the total cost of 12 bags of Shipley's donut holes? So from this scenario that I created from the top of my, top of my head, just out of my brain, um, I'm going to create a table. I'm going to create a graph, oops, a graph, and lastly, I'm gonna create an equation, um, and then that's gonna complete the multiplicative portion of my project. So I am literally halfway done with my project once I finish these four slides, one, two, three, four slides, okay? I have one done, so I'm gonna go through on how to make the other two. Now, um, there is a way where you can insert a table from right here directly from the Google Slides. However, I think it's a little bit, you could use it here, um, but it might be a little bit easier for you to use the Google Slides. So I'm gonna show both ways, um, and then I'll come back and, uh, and go through the graph. So real quick, I'm just gonna insert right here this table. I created a table, I'm gonna label the x-axis or the independent variable. I'm gonna label this my problem this is going to be my independent variable this is what's going to determine my dependent variable which is my total cost okay and i'm going to label these with the x and the y to keep it simple um, if i buy zero bags it will cost me zero dollars if i buy one bag it will cost me one dollar and fifty cents if i were to let me just add a, a dollar sign here. It's going to drive me crazy. All right. If I were to buy 10 bags, and I'm just doing this kind of quickly, it would cost me a whopping 15 bucks. And finally, if I went ahead and said, hey, I feel kind of crazy today. I'm going to buy 20 bags. That's going to cost me a whopping 30 buckaroos. Okay. Um, so that's one easy way to make your table, and you can do that. I would recommend you do that. And then from here, I would recommend that you just simply copy this. So I highlight, I right click, oh, or not. Oh, things are going crazy here. Sorry about that. Eesh. Okay, so I am going to here, and then I am going to copy. And then you're going to want to open up a Google Sheets. So I went ahead and I already went to a Google browser, typed in Google Sheets. You can go to Google Sheets that way. Go to Google Sheets. Or if you just click, if you use Chrome and you click in the little apps uh, corner, you can find Google Sheets there as well. Uh, both of those routes will take you to the exact same place. You don't even notice, but I'm, oh yeah, you do. I am just switching here back and forth. Uh, between tabs okay um so i am going to create a new one even though you see i kind of started one i'm not going to use that i'm going to create a new one so i'm going to create a blank and i'm going to come in here and i am simply going to click on any cell or any of these boxes and i am going to paste my table and it has pasted my table and just for you guys to see i'm going to widen these cells okay um, for reference. Now, once you paste it, you notice it's still highlighted. If it for some reason unhighlights or you actually click out and it's not highlighted, go ahead and re-highlight all of the information in your table. Check how simple this is. I'm going to then hit insert. Hit insert. I'm going to insert a chart. That chart is going to pop up right here. And if you see, I have my points. Um, and you can change it here from a scatter plot. Just put a line chart, and there is your graph. You can take this graph, you click on these three dots, you can copy the chart, come back to your presentation, go into your slide that you have graph, come right in here, and just simply, hey, I want to 
paste it, uh, paste, unlinked, or paste link. Let's see what happens if I unlink it. There you go. And it has pasted, unlinked. Okay. And I have my table, and I'm going to make it smaller so I can make my uh, presentation look a little better. You have your graph. That's how simple it is. Okay. And you are literally done. Look at that. Got my word problem. Got my table. Now you're going to want to make this a little bit nicer. Maybe add some color. Make it bigger. Uh, erase, delete these text boxes if you have that issue. Sorry. Um, but make it a little bit nicer. I'm just kind of going through these quickly. And you have your table. And you've done three of the four slides. And because I have another couple of seconds, a little bit more time remaining, to write the equation. Very simple. My y is my total cost. My X is my number of bags. So my equation is going to be Y equals, somebody want to take a guess? Good job, $1.50 X. That is your equation. You might want to bold that, make it nice and dark, make it nice and big, whatever you want to do, because that is what I'll be looking for is this equation okay i hope this helped this project is supposed to be simple shouldn't take you too long if you have any questions please feel free to reach out you know where i'll be thank you guys stay safe stay inside have a good one see you soon